two American League teams. We'll see the Baltimore Orioles as they play against the Minnesota Twins. 2K Sports and Major League Baseball. A look at Joe Mauer, one of the game's great hitters. Can they shut him down? Defending the home field today, they'll do it the Minnesota Twins. Thank you for joining us, Major League Baseball, presented by 2K Sports Thursday afternoon game. Minnesota starters on the mound. Here's a look. And as he gets going against these Baltimore hitters, what do you think we're going to see? A pretty even matchup right here. Quality right hander against a quality lineup. And oftentimes we say good pitching beats good hitting. We'll see if that prevails in this one. This is the lineup we'll see for the Orioles. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, no question in my mind, Mark Trumbo is one of the best young power guys in the game today. Not a very selective hitter like most youngsters are. Once he learns more discipline at the plate, the power numbers are going to jump out. Unlimited power potential. Right fielder up. He prepares to lead off this game. Right fielder, number 48. There's a swing and a smash. One away, and we'll take a quick look at the Twins and how they'll be out there positionally on defense. And uh, John, any scouting picks? Well, Joe Maurer's a guy you have to keep an eye on in this one. I mean, not only is he a great catcher of the ball, he also is great at handling his pitching staff. Not a lot he can't do behind the plate, and for a tall guy to be as athletic as he is, that's a tough thing to do for a catcher. Machado batting now. Well, unfortunately, another right year on. and another finish in the bottom of the American League East for the Orioles. Now, the good news is they've got some personnel in place and a core of young players to start to grow and move forward. Hopefully, it will improve. Two away for the Orioles' young prospects. The pitching, of course, is what they're trying to develop. Last year, though, that was a struggle, Steve. Well, I mean, a struggle is an understatement. The pitching has been the big problem. Worst ERA in the majors. Most base runners allowed. Most hits given up. Uh, and they've got a pretty good offense. They just need some pitching to support it. No strikeouts, but you talk about confidence. Four pitches, three batters gone. Bottom half coming right up for the Twins. Now batting for the Minnesota Twins. And our starting pitcher for Baltimore, Number Steve, he's facing the Minnesota lineup today. Tell us his thoughts. Well, for Yvaldo Jimenez, he's got the great velocity, but also exceptional movement. Oh! And he's got breaking pitches that are sometimes difficult for him to throw as a strike. Therefore, he needs to work ahead in the count, expand the zone to get the hitter to chase. Strike Called two. strike outside corner. Quickly in the hole now, 0-2. And, and with two strikes on him, I'm guessing we're going to see a fastball here just try to finish him off. Ball Wanted on. to get him fishing, but he misses. 1-2. and two. Trying to get the ground ball out, you throw that two-seam fastball away from the hitter, trying to get him to reach and roll over it. He laid off of it here. Hit on the ground towards second. Number six. Throw one on to first in time on away. Second baseman. Number two. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, his power numbers aren't going to scare you. Joe Maurer is not going to be a guy that you have to fear the big three-run home run. But if you want a guy to be able to drive in runs consistently, put the ball in play, throw quality at bats against you, hit balls in gaps to drive in runs, Joe Maurer is the guy you want to see in the box. The pitch from Jimenez. Starts him off with one in there for a strike. You know, his trends show that in 0-1 count, he tends to like to come back with a fastball. Strike Looks two. at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0-2. And it's fouled off. That runs too far inside, one and two. The one-two pitch. Slider in there and gets him looking two down. Well, good late-breaking movement on that slider. Down and away exactly where you want to pitch it. He gets the punch out. Now we'll take a quick look at the Orioles and how they are positionally on the diamond. 
particular standouts here, John? Adam Jones, a converted infielder, hasn't lost a step. He made that transition to the outfield. Still learning the nuances of playing outfield on an everyday basis in the big leagues, but he's a gifted, gifted athlete. Big, strong, athletic, Great very work. quick, Great throwing arm. Adam Jones has a chance to be one of the top outfielders for a long, long time. Foul. Maurer fouls it away. You're out. Swing and a miss. Three strikes on Maurer, and he's down. A 1-2-3 inning, Ubaldo Jimenez. The handiwork already on display. Strikes out two to start this ballgame. Up uh, next, Orioles. It's going to be Wieters. Look at the matchup numbers. He's hit 340 against the Twins. And you know, Gary, a lot of times you just see the other team's jersey and you know you have the confidence that you can hit against them. Now this ball hit toward the wall. You see the right fielder backpedaling. You don't recommend that because your head bounces around and you can fall, but still able to make the catch. Trumbo is ready to go. He stands in. Well, the American League East absolutely dominated the Minnesota Twins last year. The Twins smash towards the middle. And Baltimore, their first hit. And the uh, Twins, the best record they had against any team in that East, against Tampa. And that record, Steve, was 3-7. and seven. Wow, that tells you everything right there. The Minnesota Twins have just cast their vote. The American League East, the toughest division in baseball. It's going to be Kim. Pitch on the way. Hit up the middle. Good offensive chance here. Shortstop, number two, J.J. Hardy. Well, that was a good pitch, but the hitter gave him a lot of credit. He got his bat on it somehow, and that's what you have to do when you're up there in a defensive mode. Try to put the ball in play, and good things will happen. And Gary, he got the hit there. Two men have been put away, and they'll try and hold the runners second and first. They stay for the Baltimore Orioles. Designated hitter number three. There it is in the batter's box. Already. Two down. Runners at first and second. A shot up the middle, and it's through. That's a base hit. Trumbo's going to try and score here. Trumbo will score. Well, this is exactly how you plan a game. You make sure you get that offense going to get that run on the board. And it's the number nine spot. And uh, Steve, they've got the edge right now. They're getting some big runs at an important part of the game. Hit in the air to left center. And he's there to retire the side. All right, first run of the game. It comes here in the second. Baltimore with the lead, one to nothing. Lead of the lineup coming to the plate. Well, uh, has it gotten colder? Uh, maybe uh, maybe warming up a bit? It started out really chilly here. The players loosened up a bit now. And yeah, we're going to see Park here. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0-1. Well, boy, wouldn't you have loved to see him connect with that one to see how far that would go. Fastball hitter on fastball pitcher, but he came up empty. Strike two. Takes a swing at that 0-1 pitch, but the curve is in there for strike two. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. Let's watch K-Cam. Take a look at the first team fastball. Good job of keeping him guessing by changing speeds out there. And boy, John, you saw the effect of that. That swing, he wasn't even in the same time zone. But going from off speed to a heater like that is never easy, and even guys that make the big bucks have a hard time adjusting. Close in the batter's box. 0 for 2 lifetime against Gibaldo Jimenez. And this at bat already 0-1. First pitch was a strike. Well, you talk about a guy that doesn't get cheated in the batter's box. Right you usually see that swing when someone throws a fastball. But he took a mighty hack at that slider, but he came up empty. On the way. Oh. This one's grounded near third. Foul. You're Started out. to go around. It's a call. Strike three. Two down. Well, whatever the setup was that he wanted, he got it, and he was off balance at the plate. Well, a great sequence of pitches right there to keep the batter off balance, and a great approach by the pitcher. Now Rosario will see what he can do as he comes to the plate.
Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. No production net from the Twins. 